are going to start off. What are you going to show me? Well, I get asked a lot in the shop, ground bait mixes and what, you know, there's so many different, but I think the key thing in any mix on the drains is you want a really inert dead mix. Um, some people put their mixes in the freezer. So an inert dead inert, mix? Dead, yeah. So, dead. You know, brown bread. Why do you want that? Well, if the, the more active the mix, the more particles and fizzing and stuff like that tends to attract the smaller fish. Whereas the mix that's just dead on the bottom, I don't know, it just, it just, it's proven it, you catch bigger fish. Definitely, definitely. Um, maybe in the summer you probably wouldn't use inert mixes because you know, you, you want cloud in your peg and you'd probably use leams and totally different scenario. But in, in the winter, because there's so many fish there, you're trying to be selective. It's like you would use a bigger dead bait to try and catch a bigger fish. We're using a, a, a less inert or inactive mix to try and catch some better stamp fish. Um, so the main thing I use is Aramix. Um, it's been around for years and years and years. And it's like a molasses -y, uh, real sweet liquid. Um, just add that to the water that you're using to mix your ground bait. Uh, mix it with a drill night before, put it in the fridge and um, it just, and the other thing is as well, I think it preserves the mixes as well. Um, what does that smell of? Because we had that open earlier. It's, it's, the... it's very sweet. It's like um, like bitter, quite a bitter smell. Um, they do all different types. They do chocolate, honey, you name it, they've got flavour, hemp. Do you have a favourite? Yeah, um, the standard gardens really. They do a gross gardons, which is good as well. Um, but I tend to use um, gardons, and then they do a super black gardons. Um, just helps helps keep the mix dark. But yeah, so they're what I use in all my mixes on the drains. So I think that's key, um, especially during the winter. And then another little trick I always carry in my bag is colics. Right, just hold that still for a sec. Okay. So that does smell like Horlicks. Yeah, it? it's like Ovaltine Horlicks. Basically, if if the pace picks up through the day or I want to add a few more maggots or pinkies or squats to my ground bait, I just get this out, sprinkle it on your ground bait. Let me just sprinkle it on my phone there. And um, <laughs> it just binds it. And you can go from a quite a soft mix and make it quite sticky to hold a bit of bait and get it down. So it's just something quite handy without having to mix two different ground baits up. You've had a bit of colics and away you go. That's quite a clever idea. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. They do a decolics as well, which is brilliant for bloodworm and joker. And you can add it to ground bait. You know, if you think, oh, I think I've made that a bit too wet, you can just take it back the other way and and um, make it a bit looser. And all so, these products are available from the yeah, shop? Yeah, from the shop. I yeah. mean... Um, these two, I do, I've been selling loads of these this, this year. I think more and more anglers are getting onto it and it definitely does make a difference. So personally, I, I wouldn't, I, everyone has their own preference. A lot of people mix up on the bank. Um, I'm a big fan of doing it the night before, putting it in the fridge in a sealed bag, taking it out in the morning. And then when you get to the bank, just um, vaporize it, just get your mix exactly how you want it. It's amazing how there's, these mixes are everywhere really. I mean. We were just talking about this before we did this recording. If I just show everybody something, I just pulled out my man cave. Uh, the odd, odd, odd occasion I go carp fishing, I might use something like this. So obviously carp anglers have been using this sort of thing yeah. for a long, long time. And even when I'm pike fishing with dead baits, I use a lot of oils and either inject the baits or use it other ways. And it's just used everywhere, really. Yeah, yeah. One thing I need to experiment with is, believe it or not, they are de have developed sprays that you spray on lures. Oh, right. Yeah, and I've got some lures that actually smell of, smell of garlic. Right. Some have got salt in them. So obviously it's a big thing that's involved in all sorts of aspects of anger. They're supposed to do them spiky shabs as well, don't they? They're the, you can put a scent on those. I suppose they hold the scent better, will they? I don't know. They got, I don't know how. I need, to, I need to spend some time looking at this because mm. um, any edge, if it is an edge, is worth doing. But obviously you don't want to do it if it's just a fad. But... Mm. You, you are a great believer in those mixes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I know a lot of anglers that use that and they still freeze the mix. They might be tight um, and, you know, can't be bothered to buy some fresh ground bait, but um, definitely there's a time and place for 
frozen round bait in uh, active mixes. So 